हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर फर्स्ट यूज केस ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट इन क्लूड लाइक हाउ वी कैन मेक अ कॉल फ्रॉम क्लाइंट साइड टू सर्वर साइड यूजिंग गेट एक्स एम एल और गेट एक्स एम एल एंसर फॉर दिस वी विल सी इन द दिस यूज केस दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यूअर मे आस्क बेसिकली इफ आई वॉ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू चेक वेन एवर आई टेक अ इंटरव्यू आई डेफिनेटली आस्क क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड देन दिस काइंड ऑफ सिंपल यूज केस आई यूज टू आस्क फ्रॉम द कैंडिडेट टू कन्फर्म वेदर दे हैव अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड एन एज एक्स कॉल और नॉट right so this will be a kind of interview question for you to um, provide a real time use case but before that like guys uh, i have already explained about uh, script include and ajax call in details uh, with the practical scenario right in couple of our previous video if you have not watched uh, please go and watch that first that will clear your concept fine and if you have uh, not like and subscribe my channel please do so um, it's really motivate me to make a video fine so let's jump uh, our the first use case is a simple use case i'll be talking about like uh, display your uh, name while loading the incident form using a script include this is the simple use case like you have to make a use of a script include to get the data from um, server side and you just need to uh, display as a alert or a um, display message however you want so just to check the your knowledge whether you have a concept or not so how you will answer this definitely interview will will be not expecting you to write these all uh, proper syntax in the interview panel right they will definitely ask you to the pseudo code they will expect you to just tell which all the steps are involved uh, to achieve this uh, use case so the first step you will be telling that i'll be writing on load client script on that on load client script i'll be making a ajax call in ajax call basically <laughs> the first thing i'll be passing a um a script include name and i'll be making one object using a new operator and then using uh, that uh, object you will be calling a function uh, sys param underscore name and then i'll be providing a function and then if it is required we will be uh, passing a um, parameter so this is the uh, pseudo code kind of example um from client side and in server side we use you should say i'll be getting one um, a script include and i'll be making that checkbox client callable checked so that uh, this script include will uh, get call or applicable uh, calling from a client side and uh, i'll be getting that parameter which i'm passing from uh, client side using uh, this dot get parameter and returning the object and if i want to return as a um, whole parameter a uh, whole um, JSON that also we can do. We can write a logic and we can return. This is how you can explain, right? Let's see this uh, in the practical scenario. Fine. So here is the simple code for a script include, and this is the simple code of a client script where I'll be explaining you using a get XML answer and get XML. Both are um, a synchronous call, right? Let's see. now let's jump to our instance to save our time i have already created the um, glide ajax basically over here right all the script i have already um, written down in the client script i have written this in on load client script basically what i'm doing on load client script we are just making one uh, ajax call object over here then i'm um, this is the function name i'm just passing right and the name which i'm passing from here just to check how this will work and here i'm just using a ga dot get xml answer and in the response i'm just alerting a response the expectation over here is that it will display the runja patel along with some um, value which i have written in the um, server end right so this is the ajax um, uh, script include ajax example similar uh, same name i have given over here right and now i have just made it a uh, client callable over here 
correct so this is the one you have to make sure that um, we're making uh, application access definitely you have to define right make sure this is active and uh, once you check this checkbox then here uh, this piece of code extra piece of code get added okay to extend this um, constructor right and now uh, this is the piece of code uh, which i have written basically so this is the basically a function uh, get uh, greetings and this is the syntax for defining a function in the script include this is the way to get the parameter which is coming from uh, client side i have already explained right this dot get a parameter and the pass the uh, key name which you are uh, utilizing over here right now here a name we are getting a name and then uh, we are just appending this uh, hello and name and returning code fine so what is the expected output it will display hello runjay patel right this is the expected output we will be getting so let's see and this because this is uh, client script is running on uh, while loading the form what we will do we will just load the form let's see the uh, result right you can see here hello runjay patel is the uh, expected output which is coming fine so simple way so if you have seen that i have used get xml weight and i will tell you one more scenario i have explained that get xml answer and uh, get xml both will return the uh, xml object right both are the basically um, a synchronous call right so uh, i will show you the different way to do so so this is the one way get xml this is a very easy syntax <clears throat> we have not written anything and let me just uh, enable this one also fine and here also i am just uh, whatever the response it is coming <clears throat> sorry guys so <clears throat> this is the way to retrieve the data if you are using a uh, get xml right so let me just uh, comment this out and uh, this time i'll be using uh, this piece of code okay so only the difference between get xml answer as you can see here this is the simple way it will give you the result okay and this will give you the final result in the response it will come but if you are using a get xml then you have to pass the xml basically which will come from the uh, server end we'll see that so first let's save this one and we'll see what answer is populating over here both are similar way and uh, you can see uh, both are calling a uh, um, uh, script include but uh, if you are using a get xml answer then very a small code you have to write and if you are using a get xml then you have to write this piece of code fine so let's uh, reload the form again and let's see the uh, impact right again there is no change right so it is working as expected if you will change if you will say here you just print the um response in this way let's see i'm just printing the response it will print the basically object right so let's refresh this again as expected this is the object it is returning it is not giving you the correct value which is coming right so in order to get the um, exact value from thus that object you have to write this piece of code fine now um, let's see uh, uh, i have explained you that get xml will return the uh, whole um, xml right so let me do inspect element over here and i will go to console okay i will clear the console okay i will clear the console and then i will reload the form fine i will show you that uh, where and how xml is coming okay fine now if you can see this one okay if you can see this one this is the answer it is coming this is the xml body if you can see here i have mouse over it uh, so this xml whole xml is coming and uh, hello runja patel this is the uh, text in the answer keyword it is coming that's why we are using a 
uh, here XM answer right so this is the keyword if you use the status then it will give you the 200 hope you got it uh, right so this is the simple example you can explain to your interviewer right what's the difference between get xml answer and uh, get xml right in next uh, um, our use case uh, i'll be discussing about uh, this use case that we will discuss in the next video thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video